Right, I'll start by giving like a, a really quick roundup of everything. That's probably the best thing to do. So if you're just chilling there, you can just watch it. We'll cover everything and then we'll get to a couple of questions or whatever. So straight away into match here, we'll go through it side by side or side by side. We have these various modes available. You've got Dream Team and Authentic Match. You've got the events here. You've got the Smart Assist, which we'll get to in a second. There's no real changes here, man, to the layout apart from the exhibition. So we already covered this here where it was like basically every team that they have in the game is now in that you can play exhibition match. And you can play with any team. Uh, it doesn't make a difference if they're licensed or unlicensed. So it doesn't make a difference. Obviously, if you're playing on PS5, you won't have the option to be able to, uh, to use, you know, the proper kits. So City are not going to have their kits. But in here, they have added a new stadium right here. And also, you can choose to have the weather into snow, which I think that the game looks nice in snow. Um, they also have a couple of new balls as well. Uh, in here, you can change the difficulty. You can actually put the match level to legend if you want to. Uh, I think you can also change a couple of other bits and pieces, such as... Where's the ball, man? I thought we were able to do the ball. 10 minutes here. So you can actually change this match now from 5 minutes all the way to 30 minutes. Uh, extra time on, all that, and they've added a couple of new balls as well. So they've added that, and they've added that. So that is the new ball, and obviously that's for the snow snow conditions. Other than that, man, everything else is pretty much the same. The only other thing that they've changed um, in terms of the UI is that every single player now has his full name in, like, small lettering. So their, like, name is, like, you know, capital B, capital A for Andre. The rest of everything is pretty much the same, right? That's kind of offline, and all the teams are available there. I already have a full video up on that going through it. Um, that's pretty much the offline exhibition mode, right? In other, in, in the other events then, you're gonna have these events here. Let me just show you, man. Let me just show you here, right? So you have the events here, the eFootball League, the friend match, the quick match, the my league. Everything's pretty much the same there, right? But you have the events here. Let me just turn off this alert a sec. Um, and then this European club, Spanish clubs, team play. It's pretty much identical to eFootball 2024. So you have your skill trainers there. You can't use Smart Assist on this, so that's obviously good. You can't use Smart Assist on this online. You get your random booster there instead of your contracts. That's the ultimate prize. Um, any that have the startup campaign uh, button are there. And then for the offline one, you're going to get your random booster there, and you're going to get your free player uh, spin there. So it's pretty much rinse and repeat from eFootball24. This is identical. Same with eFootball League. Whatever division you were in last phase, you will be back three phases. So we finished in Division 1, we get all our rewards, and now we're back in Division 4. But it is Phase 1, so this is the first phase. So any badges that you had, anything like that, is going to be reset. You still have your progress with your team and your players and all of this, right? All of these players are now back in... There's nobody out of contract, basically. Every single player you can use. So the players that I would have signed at the very start of the game are now usable. So all the players are back. You don't ever have to, like, you know, give them a contract again. They've actually changed this here that it's not even in here. And it's just the player progression, the skill trainer, um, the position trainer, the booster, all of that. It's the same thing. You can retrain players. You don't need to reset players anymore. Um, you can do it. It's free all the time. So it's free all the time. Restore previous settings or reset player progression. So if you have a build of a card, you use the card, and then you change the card, you can actually go back to the previous one again and say, yeah, I actually prefer the first build I had of him. The rest of the stuff, man, is pretty much the same in the events, right? Which we knew. We have the startup campaign added. We have both players that we're going to be getting there. And then that's pretty much it, man. The rest of the stuff here is going to be the match pass. There's this brand new skill up thing as well, which is going to show you um, the basics of attacking, basics of defending, learning the true pass. There's all different things to learn, right? And you get rewards. So you actually get 50 eFootball coins there. You get a free Trent card there, um, but you have to unlock them. There's 10 in total and you can get all the, the prizes there. That's obviously for newcomers or for people to learn the core mechanics of the game. The match pass, it's a brand new match pass, but it's pretty much the exact same as eFootball 2024. Uh, Paqueta and Coleman are there. The rest of the stuff actually in the match pass, right? In the match pass here now, let me see, do they have... Okay, a five-star contract is still there. I thought they'd have... Okay, a bit disappointed, man, that they don't have the... They don't have the contract boosters in there. That's a bit of a, a disappointment. And then the startup campaign here... You've got all of these back again. So this is just your rinse and repeat. Log into the game. And it's just multiple uh, clear objectives. All these objectives in here. I don't see any in-match objectives. I thought they were going to add that. It doesn't seem like that they have. 
Um, in the shop itself here, you still have your eFootball coin sale. The eFootball points, there's players in here um, that will be added because they've got a new graphic, but for now, they're not there yet. And then the strips, they will add new strips to that as well, but not in there yet. Items, they've obviously taken out the contracts. It's just trainer programs. Everything is carried over. Our coins, our GP, pretty much everything is carried over. Our coins, GP, everything, right? In the inbox then, you get all the rewards, right, from here, and you also get your uh, random booster token, Leroy Sané and uh, Lewandowski. And this is obviously going to be into the contracts here, um, which we'll show you now. So the, the daily game as well. Let me go through the daily game very, very quickly here, right? And I'm just going to make this video as quick as, as I possibly can. So you get a brand new kind of layout here, right? And obviously this board is just going to be the exact same, and they haven't changed the penalties, which is again a bit disappointing, right? Once a day, aim for exciting prizes. You just pick where you want to shoot, man, and you just pop the ball home. Hopefully we score, you get a new jersey for Castolo. Castolo looks slightly more high res, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute with Messi. But you're just going to go on the board again. As I said, man, this is carbon copy from eFootball24. I don't think we're going to see a big change to this for a while. But the first player you're going to be getting is Ribery, right? And you get your boosters, you get Didier Drogba. There's a chance deal here for Didier Drogba within this pack. Um, which is a pack here of like, what, 50 players, I think it is. There's lots of different things, man, that they've added to this. So it's like older double booster versions of cards along with this. And then they also have the daily chance game. So the daily chance game at the moment, um, these are the players that are in it. You've got Beckham, you've got Tony Adams, you've got Carvajal. And of course, you're going to be getting a couple of spins at that with Frank Ribery as the first one. So Frank Ribery has basically replaced Neymar in eFootball24 with this one. And you keep getting the chance deals all the way up. Position trainers, coins, Drogba. So eventually you're probably going to be able to pretty much clear the whole boxes that you see there. So that's that covered, but it is, I'll be honest, man, it's a little bit disappointing that they haven't adjusted that. As for the contracts, man, we'll do a full breakdown video of them. You will get your free Messi. You will get the boosters. You will get all of those. You get 10 free spins at this, right? and you will get messy. So this is the player pack that you get in here. Interestingly enough that they're actually making you spin for this rather than just giving it to you. You get your messy here, and that is going to be the 10 players. It's a 10 player pack, and you're going to be getting messy straight up. So you can't not get messy in that one there, right? So when we skip that, we are going to get Leo Messi, and Messi is going to take that shot in his right foot. Anyway, we'll skip on all of this, man. But Messi in game looks really high res. He looks insane. His, his beard and all that. I don't want to be glazing over Messi too much, but he does look really good. The rest of the packs. This is the player of the week. So these are all the players in the player of the week here. Right. I'm not going to go through them too much detail yet because it'll take too long, but we will do it. You also have all these new packs that are going to be the nominating contract. This is the legends that are on offer today. So you have these boys here. Baresi's in there. Van Nistelrooy, Davids, Guti, all of these here. This is the pack, man. This is the box that people were probably going to be looking to spin for. Like, there's a lot of legends in here and the highlight players and the epic players. So this is the one pack that you're going to be seeing here for when you release your contract renewals. Now, I only have 48 spins on this, but it's only 100 bucks. So to be honest with you, lads, I didn't release many of my players because I wanted a way to see what I was going to do when the game came out. And I knew that, like, if I had 50 spins... I didn't really want to have, like, if you have two, three hundred spins, you're going to empty this box. But a lot of these players are re-releases, man. A lot of these players are kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. Like, even Van Dyke and that. Like, there's probably all the legends in here are good. But I have a lot of these legends as they are. You know what I mean? And they're the old boosters. They're not the new boosters. So you can't train them up. The only new boosters that are there are going to be the ones in the other pack, not this pack here. And then we also have this magical dribbler one as well. Obviously, they're going to be showcasing... Now, lads, let me just show you Ter Stegen. Look at Ter Stegen. Double touch, flip, flap, soul control. Insane dribbling stats, man. Insane. But that is the pack that you can get for a nominating contract there as well. So that is pretty much it, lads. I will discuss everything else, but that's pretty much just a quick roundup of what is there. You also have your standard player tickets. You've also got your manager list. You've also got all this updated um, with the managers. Like, so, yeah, there's a lot there, but we are going to have to test out the gameplay, man. That's the big thing.